Okay, so I get asked all the time how I package my wigs. So I'm going to show you how I package my wigs for local orders and how I package my wigs to ship out to customers. So the first thing I do, I always get plain white wrapping paper and I stuff the inside of the cap with the wrapping paper. Okay, and then I'm gonna use the boxes that I got from Dollar Tree. I have a YouTube video all about all of the affordable things that you can get from Dollar Tree to package your hair. So all I'm doing is taping the inside to kind of keep the box together. I mean, it is from Dollar Tree, so it's not the best quality box, but it still works. So I tape down the corners and then all I do is add another piece of wrapping paper, tissue paper on the top. The tissue paper is also from Dollar Tree. And then I just sit the wig right inside of the box. Um, yes, I do. I push it down, I press it down um, so it's not bulky. I kind of fold it over and then I close the top of the box. And to make sure the box stays closed, I take my bundle wraps and I just apply it to the side of the box. That way the box doesn't come open. Um, and if I did have a logo or some type of sticker, I would put it right there in the center of the box to make it more professional. And pretty much now I use these big old bags that I get from Dollar Tree. I place the box inside of the bag. I put some wrapping paper inside of the bag to make it look like a gift. And that is pretty much how I deliver. And um, that's pretty much how I package up and deliver all of my local um, wig orders. Now this here is a wig that I'm actually shipping out to a customer. So I pretty much kind of do the same thing, but also it's kind of different. <laughs> so I always stuff the inside of the wig with tissue paper, like I did before. Instead of putting a wig in a box, I actually just continue to wrap it up and fold it up with wrapping paper, not wrapping paper, but tissue paper. Um, the same way in my last video when I showed how to wrap up bundles with tissue paper, um, it's a video I posted a couple of months ago. Um, I just kind of wrap it up the same way I used to wrap up a Subway, a Subway sub when I used to work at Subway. Um, but I just have to like keep doing it in layers to cover the entire wig, if that makes sense. I guess you just have to watch and see exactly what I'm doing. But I make sure I roll it up really good. And then after it's rolled up, I put it into one of the pink shipping bags. And then I put that pink shipping bag <laughs> inside of a um, USPS priority mail padded envelope. Um, and that's pretty much how I ship out my packages. All I have to do after I do that is print out a shipping label and tape the shipping label to the package and ship it out. But I just keep it really simple. Um, I try not to complicate things. It's very affordable, very um, simple. Customers haven't complained about receiving damaged wigs or any of that. So it works. <laughs> 